years. This round of wild weather is wrapping up and now we're dealing with the aftermath of our latest winter storm. Yeah, but we have more rain on the way next week and emergency teams, they are scrambling to clean up the damage from Friday's downpour before it hits. And we have live team coverage of the passing winter storm. Our Rachel Menatov is live in Studio City where water from flooded streets is slowly draining into the LA River. But first, Kai is here in the KTLA Weather Center with more on what we can expect next week, Kai. Well, thank Thank you very much guys well good evening everybody we are now making our way through this storm system here this atmospheric river event here in southern california live look to the airport where we're still picking up some light drizzle and unfortunately we've got some very low visibility in the santa monica bay right now starting to see a little bit of some fog and evaporation happening taking a look at your five live max doppler no heavy rainfall here in southern california again widely scattered showers coming out of the ojai valley as we head up towards fraser park Mettler, Lebec, those areas along the grapevine, we know them well, but good news there, no snow happening. This atmospheric river event, just too warm for that to happen. And of course, up into our mountains, well, we're not seeing that taking place as well. But above Glendora, we're still picking up just a little bit of a light shower there along the 210 and the active areas throughout central California this evening. Well, that's further to the north, the Tehachapi area. Lake Isabella still picking up rainfall, heavy at times, but once we do make our way up the 395, getting a little bit closer towards Lone Pine, Independence, Bishop. Those areas are seeing some light showers, but it's up into the mountains of the Sierra Range where we're looking at a lot of snowfall and the snow goes from Mammoth all the way towards Lake Tahoe, Reno as well. And on the western edge of the Sierra Range, look at the thunderstorm activity that's taking place right now just to the east of Fresno, just to the north of Visalia. And as we make our way through the night, they'll continue to hold on to a flood advisory. Then we'll have another flood watch kicking in from Tuesday into Wednesday. Wednesday, and that's where we want to begin to focus another storm, storm number two. And to get ready for that, there's still a lot of runoff taking place here in Southern California. Rachel Menatoff is live in Studio City to tell us more about that and how residents are preparing for that storm number two. Rachel. Kai, the LA River is soaking up all of that water and runoff that you talked about. That's why it's moving so quickly and is so high today. Unfortunately, we did get some street and flash flooding here in the valley, an area that's not accustomed to this kind of weather. What we had was called an atmospheric river rain event, which wrapped up early this morning. And then we have another one coming, as you mentioned, next week. Parts of LA and Ventura counties had as much as an inch and a half of rain. By far, San Luis Obispo County received the largest amounts, but all areas got a good soaking. The rain led to concerns, of course, among residents in the San Bernardino Mountains who have been clobbered by back-to-back -back winter storms that dropped more than eight feet of snow. The weight of the snow collapsed rooftops and decks, and this most recent round of rain makes a lot of that snow heavier and the risk of collapse and flooding greater. On Friday, President Biden declared a state of emergency in California to help with the cleanup and repair efforts. I spoke with the National Weather Service this afternoon. It tells me so far downtown L.A. has had 21 inches of rain so far this year. That's well above normal, and we talked about what we can all expect with this next round of storms. Take a listen. Many areas could see anywhere from about one and a half to three inches of rainfall. So that's a fairly significant rain on top of what we've already been seeing. So I guess the concern too would be your creeks and, and the LA River. And many people right now are clearing away their storm drains, any debris that built up over this last storm in preparation for Tuesday's rain. And we're told that this is going to be a fast moving system. So a lot of rain all at once. And of course that can bring road closures and more flooding to some of those more susceptible areas like the burn scars. That's the very latest from Studio City. I'm Rachel Menatoff. I'll send it back inside to you. North and Central California have been pummeled by rain over the last 48 hours. Flooding has forced road closures across Santa Cruz, Monterey and Kern counties, among others. Highways have eroded and homes have been virtually destroyed by rising rivers and creeks. Mountain areas near Tahoe and Sacramento are experiencing even more snow, stranding people and animals. At least two people have died and millions have experienced power outages. We'll have more on this wild weather at 630. 
and stay with KTLA for continuing coverage of the storm. We'll keep checking in with Kai throughout the hour and have another report coming up in our next half hour. And remember, you can track our local storms in real time with our interactive radar. See what's coming your way, get rain totals, the forecast, and much more. Just head on over to KTLA.com or you can also download the KTLA weather app.